Welcome back to another session with your washer and today we are going to make a paneer dish. You know there are a lot of gravies that you can make. Nuts, you got to use variety of nuts for different gravies. Like peanut is very popular with bhaiyangan, with the eggplant. The chironji, charmagas, they are very popularly used for thickening the gravies. So today I am going to make the gravy with uh, pumpkin seed, chironji and also I am going to add some cashew nut. In this, you are going to add some ginger, garlic and some green chilli. Now add some water, blend this into a fine paste and then we are going to make a gravy with this. Add some oil in the pan, add some cumin seeds, some chopped onion and some salt. Cook the onions till they are slightly coloured. You have to look at this. The onions have to be slightly coloured. That is when the flavour comes out. And now the nut paste goes into this. We are going to cook this slowly till the oil comes out. That is when we are going to add turmeric and masala. When this starts shining, we are going to add some turmeric, chilli powder, some coriander powder, pinch of garam masala. Now reduce the flame and cook this on a slow flame. You have to cook this on a slow flame till it shines. The oil is oozing out. That is when the entire masala is cooked. Then we are going to add some beaten curd into it. Look at this. It is fully cooked. The oil is slightly oozing out. This is when we are going to add yogurt. And you can also add small amount of water and make this into a gravy. Once you add yogurt, increase the flame and keep cooking till this becomes a nice silky gravy. Now you see the foam like thing that floating on top, slowly it will be converted into oil on further cooking. But the flavouring has to come with kasuri methi. So this is the only thing that I love to do like this and kasuri methi little bit of sweetener in form of honey, sugar, jaggery, anything you can add to this. And the most important thing is the paneer. So I always love uh, good quality paneer. So just cut it into the sizes you wanted. The texture has to be nice. Now take the pieces of paneer. Boomba! This is the perfect gravy I like. The thickening has to be right. The flavoring, the seasoning, everything good. Now the gravy is all ready. I am going to add just some onion and tomato, capsicum would be even better. Just add to this, that is it. Your awesome paneer curry is ready. This is best eaten with roti, naan or even with rice, pulao, biryani, anything. It will go perfect. Aha, look at it. And the paneer pieces, wow. The gravy, super hot but mm, the paneer is nice, soft, rich and super tasty and the gravy is just mm, mm, mm. boomba boomba.